Hello everybody and welcome back to Felsbrunn. So, I've almost finished moving the sugar beet which is outside, which is good because that's currently uh, obviously in the rain, but I don't think it matters too much. I've heard from many viewers who say that uh, in the UK it is just put outside on a beet pad anyway, so yeah. It's just, I want to sell it, that is the main reason for me moving it, and it just makes sense to move what is outside first. Uh, kind of uh, succeeding here with the reversing, there we go. Right, okay, that's good enough. So, uh, yeah, today what we're going to be doing is progressing. As you can see, the time is currently at times 15. That's because I want to get on to the next virtual day in this episode because that's when four horses are going to be 100% trained. So, essentially, £200,000 uh, to come in from those four. 50000 each that can be turned off. But first, I have, as usual, another trailer to go and sell. Very, very quick job. Uh, you're going to see it for probably... 10 seconds maximum so yeah off we go 52,000 litres the next place you see me will be at the sell point let's get those beacons on right we're here uh, yeah accelerate a bit harder maybe to get over here <laughs> that is actually almost stuck there we go we're moving good right so it's going to be hopefully another 29,000 pounds the price might have changed because it is now at times 15 so it could be declining. If it's nine, uh, 29,984, then it hasn't changed. So we'll see. We've hit £100,000, so that's nice. No, nope, exactly the same price. Perfect. Right, back to the yard, and then I'm going to start on the next job, which is actually going to cover episode 62, 63, and potentially 64. 65 is going to be moving all of the equipment from this farm to the next one. Um, but at the moment there is an issue and that is that the next map is not out yet and I don't have it so um, I might be going temporarily on the survival roleplay for like a solid week I don't know I'm not going to set up for sure because if the map is released then it'll be different so here we are back at the farm as I mentioned in yesterday's video I need to do a time lapse of basically moving all of the spilt grain so that's what I'm going to do in a minute but then I also need to do probably a time lapse. Oh, actually, I might just jump cut the moving of the egg boxes because that's enough to make you feel sick if you time lapse that. I'm just like that all the time. It's horrible. So uh, yeah, I will just get things done off screen and in a time lapse in a second. But first, somehow I need to put this into here, and I also need to get the other tractor, the John Deere setup. Actually, no, I might use this tractor. More power. This tractor on the drill to do the following job and that is to plant grass in the big field because there's nothing else going to be going in there no other crops and obviously I'm selling it in a few days time anyway so I'd like to do a load of either hay baling or just grass baling and then we can sell those bales for hopefully a large amount of money so that we have even more money to move with now that is actually not full so if I can just grab the tractor with the front loader just over here I'll get a pallet tine and a big bag over there and get it refilled. So, uh, yes, where's the pallet tine? Here it is. Sitting casually next to the sheep with the bucket. So at least it had company. Okay, that sounds weird. It, it, it's just a piece of metal. Right, so the seed is the green one, I think. We have lime and fertilizer here. The green one is over here. And I do have two if I require to. But I'm hoping that what we have here is going to be enough. I'm going to load it from behind. I hope that is going to work. There are several ways of doing this, I think. Uh, yep, that seems to be working alright. It looks really empty, but I'm hoping, like I say, this is going to be enough. 750 kilograms just to boost it. Uh, it looks like it's almost full, but not quite, but that should be good enough. I could also actually, thinking about it, I could use the weeder as well. Two tractors on the go. So I'll set this one off, and then I'll get the weeder set up on the John Deere, and I can plant this side, unless it has to be ploughed first. And it might do, actually, just thinking about it, because it's been sugar beets. So... Yeah, I'll take a look. Well, basically what I've established is, in real life you should plough it after sugar beet, but in a game, 
it doesn't really matter. As for if the weeder is going to work, that just depends if it would usually work uh, without cultivating first. So I will just try it. I don't think it does. But yeah, like I said, we'll just have to give it a go. Hope for the best. If not, this tractor is more than capable of doing the entire field, but it will take a bit of time. So off he goes. Now for the weeder, just a bit of a experiment really because I don't know but I, I wouldn't have thought so I wouldn't have thought it would work you should have to cultivate first or something but I might be surprised I have been surprised in the past it's not going to take me too long to check I can just go over here ah the dog the dog is fine don't worry it's a very clever dog it manages to go invisible when you drive over it Okay, that is possibly working actually. Wow. I haven't done enough to see. But it's changing the texture. So potentially. And also potentially not. No, I would say it is not working. Nope. Definitely not working. It's changing the texture, but it's not good enough. So sorry weeder not required this time around. Okay, so time to do a time lapse and I will just get things really tidy in the yard here and just basically sort out the chickens which are very messy. They're very very messy and so are the sheep. Yeah, the sheep are not great. Right, well that is almost everything done here. As you can see the final piece is just disappearing now. Uh, at least it was doing. <laughs> it's almost disappeared. If I just set that in a bit and go a bit further forward, it should pick it all up. There it goes, right. So the conveyor belt is actually finished with, so that needs to be returned, which is uh, easy. I've only used it for 0 0.3 hours. Nice. Yes, yeah, so that turned out to be a really cost effective method of storing it. Just dumping it on the ground and using a conveyor belt to pick it up. As we are only 18,000 litres full, surprising, it's exactly 18,000, that's very impressive. Uh, yeah, we can go underneath here and top it up. Because I think there's about 100,000 litres left in storage. Okay, no, 51,000. Not quite as good as I was expecting. Where is the Massey Ferguson? It's somewhere out there in the darkness, but, yep, it can stay working overnight. Because I'm off the bed, unless the price is still really good for sugar beet, in which case I'm going to go and sell it. Let's just see here. 513, pretty good, uh, although 511. Two pounds less for a much shorter distance. I might as well go there. Okay, so, yep, yeah, off we go. This is fairly heavy for this tractor. Let's see if it can do it. So far, so good. Well, I'm getting 13 miles per hour on here, but at least we're moving. It could be much worse. Uh, yep, cell point is just around the corner. Oh, look in the mirror. It's like really foggy. Is it actually foggy in the game? No, <laughs> that's weird. But it looks like the right place. The, the house is down there. Uh, it is the right place. That's really weird. Whoa, out of control. The trailer is pushing the tractor. Because this tractor isn't that big. Still, it makes for good time. We're, we're really covering the, uh, the miles here. I can't stop. I can't stop at all. Wow, that was uh, scary. At least it would have been in real life. In the game, it's just incredibly amusing. Ah, I didn't think about the cell point being up a hill. I know for a fact that is not going to climb that without getting stuck, but I might be able to go this way possibly, hopefully I can do, otherwise we're going to have to bring the Massey Ferguson across just to finish it off. Yeah, we should be okay. 
Here we are. No. Oh. Believe me, my wheels were turned. No, oh, that's a building. Yeah. This tractor is not big enough for this trailer. Although, I'm sure everybody already knows that. Let's see if I can make this turn. Yeah, pretty good actually. The trailer steers as well, but I think that steers off the tractor. It's attached to the back of the tractor using a few linkages. So when it when the tractor turns, it pulls on a, a linkage. I don't know the exact term for it, but that's the idea. So is it going to be as much as £25,000? I think it's going to be, yeah, about 25000 Possibly a bit less. right in there. It was 26619. I've been pleasantly surprised. Good. Okay, so back to the farm and it's time to sleep. We can at least go back down this way, although the trailer is still pushing the tractor, even when it's empty. Now where's he got to? Don't think it's been here. It's very hard to tell. Um, it's, oh, it's just here. It's done probably a fifth of the field. So it's slow going, but it's got a few days to do it. It has to plant it, then it obviously has to grow. I either need to cut it with my fairly small mower setup, which could be upgraded since we have the money, and the horsepower. Yeah, it's going to have to be. And then it'll be time to cut and bale. I think, yeah, it's almost guaranteed that I'm just going to do grass bales instead of hay bales. But I suppose the potential is there to do silage bales, it would mean buying a very expensive machine. Then again, the price difference is considerable, so it might be really worth it. Let me just take a look here and see exactly how much it costs to sell a silage bale. Yeah, this is exactly where I want to be. On the commodity page, silage, yeah. 578 per 1,000 litres against the grass, which is, well, it can range anywhere between about £100 to, yeah, 220 ish So, it's it's very clear to see that uh, silage is better. Anyway, yep, lights off, engine off, and it's time to sleep. The worker can just stay out all night. It doesn't need to sleep. And tomorrow is the day when we sell those horses. Even more money. And here we are. I currently have £136,000 and I'm stuck on a door. It should sit. Oh, sorry. Mr. Sniff, here's some food for you. There we go. Enjoy. Or you could just, you know, stick your head into a scythe. Whatever keeps you happy. These still need to be done, so I'll do them in a minute. But first, I'm going to go and sell those uh, horses. And there is absolutely no point in buying any more. I will be buying some more on the next map. There will still be four left actually, so in a few days time those four can be sold as well, uh, bringing in another £200,000. Very nice. Now where is my livestock trailer? I think I put it in the shed around the back, just over here. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, I've, I've decided that I'm not going to keep that planter over there just going over the next couple of episodes because I really do want to get on with it. So, it will have finished the field by the start of the next episode. If it hasn't finished, it'll be very close. It might just be the finishing touches here, which I have to do. Okay, that seems to have not not attached. Uh, right, over to the horses. Time to fill the trailer. Hello, horses. Time to go. You're worth quite a bit of money. So who are the expensive ones? We've got Epona, Excalibur, Ollie and Zeus. Okay. Move, 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 move. So that leaves Oscar, Patches, Ember, Ember and uh, Bonnie. Nice. Off we go then. Rumps. Oh, already the spurt all their grain. It actually affects the productivity massively. If you if you leave it with spilt grain, they produce less eggs. I should really put a, a track across here. I seem to use it much more than the main entrance. 
Okay, that's interesting. It's quite a turning circle. The grass has already started to grow over there. Which isn't really surprising. Come on! Take all the time you need. Floor it. Oh, what are you doing, you lunatic? I should have known it was going to start to reverse again. It's a worker. And this is where their journey ends. For a better life, actually. They're now fully trained horses. I'm guessing they're race horses or something. I'm not too sure. But yeah, they are worth a fair bit of money. Off they go. And I seem to have bought a pig. Good. £200,000. Meaning my total is now 336000 with no loan. This is looking very promising for the start of the next map. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to head back to the farm and then, like I said, I'm going to actually stack those boxes of eggs because they need to be put onto a pallet and then taken over to the egg sell point, wherever the best price is currently. I have actually sold the gator. I did it a few episodes ago. Um, the main reason was because it was depreciating and it's another thing to move with. It means it, would, it actually cost me money to move with it. So I think what I'd do is I'll buy either another one on the next farm or buy something similar and I definitely need to have a telehandler next time I've been really missing a telehandler so the next farm is guaranteed to have some form of telehandler most likely the Massey Ferguson but not necessarily and I'm not just saying that because of the brand I'm saying it because of the price I think actually I could be proven wrong here let's just see which is cheaper I know this is the cheapest but I, I want one like this really yeah the Massey Ferguson is not the cheapest but it is the cheapest in the base game this is a mod. Um, yeah, I might go for the Libra, actually. It's a good price. It is 122 horsepower. This one is 129. This is 122. So actually, you're comparing a 93,000 pound machine with a 75,000 pound machine. And uh, the only difference, really, is the speed that it can do. Let's get it back into here. It doesn't get much use, but when it does, it's very handy because I'm saving all those fees. It charge you to have it transported about half a mile. There we go. Right. Uh, so I'll just park this outside of here. Put the door down. And I'm now going to jump cut and go and sort out these eggs. There's plenty of them. I have a pallet over here. I think um, those pallets I used to have where you just basically walk up to them and it auto loads. I think they disappeared when I sold the... Uh, <laughs> when I sold them. That is interesting. I have flown on pallets before, but never so high. I didn't think about coming down again. I hope this levitating pallet can actually uh, land safely. Uh, this is interesting. Well, if you don't have the console mode enabled where you can fly, just grab a pallet. It seems to work exactly the same way. How high can I actually go here? Ugh. Well, it's a very good way of uh, looking at the map. I used to do this on FS17 with the logs, but the logs don't do it anymore, but the pallets do. What happens if I stop? Ah! And clearly, people fall faster than pallets. I'm already on the ground. <laughs> Here it is. Splat. Oh, I needed that. It's gone. Oh. It's gone to the Earth's core. Ooh, I've got two more. How convenient. Right, okay, enough of that. That's enough unrealism stuff for today. Unrealistic stuff for today. Let's go over here. And, uh, well, the next time you see the pallets, it will be fully loaded with eggs. And hopefully, these eggs aren't going to get smashed, which will be the first time I've ever loaded a pallet without smashing them. Okay, then, so that is the first area done. As you can see, I've tried to stack these as neatly as possible. I have to, of course, strap them. I've been strapping as I go. That way, if I make a mess, it just keeps everything together. Nice, that's ready to go. Okay, so the next one, I don't think there's quite as many. No, not quite as many, but it's still going to take a few minutes to do this. So I will see you once again in a second. And finally, we have this box just here. So just rotate it and very carefully put it onto there. Good, okay, so time to strap. And then I need the Ford tractor, which is just here. 
Uh, pallet fork again, I think, and then we'll just... Well, actually, I could use the uh, very good mechanism, the, the thing over here. I find it easier. I really do. And then it's going to have to go on the trailer, because that is just the easiest way for me to do it. Uh, where did I put it, though? Is it around the corner? Um... Hmm. Where did I put it? This is a mess. I've lost it. There it is. Driving straight past it. Uh, yep, so eggs are not going to be too heavy at all. This should be very easy to do. Where's the Massey Ferguson got to? It's still back over there. And it has done the slightest amount. It's done about a third. A third of the field. But like I say, it's going to be getting to the end of here before the next episode. So you don't have to sit through me just painfully planting the field. Okay, right. Yeah, not heavy at all. I hope the price is good. If it is, then the amount of money I've made today is going to be very impressive. And although the Gator was a very nice machine to have, I didn't really need it because I've got this trailer. It saves squeezing everything on. Although, then again, if you want to travel to a field or something to look at it before you buy, then, yeah, a Gator is much better. For this one, which isn't quite as full. But I can imagine there's still about, well, at least £5,000 there, if the price is good. If it isn't good, then considerably less. Okay, that one didn't really pick up straight, but it is strapped on, so it should be fine. go. Yeah, I didn't put the trailer in a very good place. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay, so I'll just strap this to the trailer. Okay, that's weird. I must be in the trigger. I am. Oh, I'm completely in the trigger. It's a terrible place to put the trailer. I'm going to have to move it first. They probably don't even need to be strapped on. Ah, okay. Point taken. Why must I fail at everything I do? I once again have a load of scrambled eggs. I wanted whole eggs. Well, I suppose one pallet's still good. The smaller pallet. There we go. And yes, of course, this time I'm properly going to strap. Good. Okay. Engine off. And it's time to go to the sell point. Assuming there is no horrific price. If the price is really good... Or just good. It is good. There are lots of good stuff here. 5804 over at the Grain Elevator East. It always is. The Grain Elevator East seems to have all the good prices. So off we go. Here it goes. Usually I have to try and knock the pallets off actually. Just seems to be the way it tends to work, which again would create an omelette, but as long as they've sold, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm actually strong enough as well to pull these off by hand. There they go. Kind of into the sell point. Whoa, I saw a 7,000. These are some very good prices. Uh, yeah, this happens sometimes. Sometimes they don't all sell, but if you just throw them around, they do. I think they have to process over time or something. They'll go eventually. Yep. And again. These are 870 a box. Wow. Uh, so yeah, I don't know how much I made in total there. Of course, you can see by going back in the video to see what I had originally. But yeah, £360,000 now. And um, some empty pallets. I'm just going to go and check up on the Massey Ferguson. Slow going. I am very surprised about how... Oh, what is it? This cruise control was set at 3 and it actually stuck to it. I can't believe it. No wonder it's taken forever to do this. Anyway, doesn't matter. It's going to be continuing, so... Yeah, we'll leave it there. I thought that's not right. It's going 3 miles per hour. It's a 400 horsepower tractor. Well, there it goes. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, please do feel free to like the video. Um, and until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.